Welcome back to Girl Talk. We're here at William Thomas Jewelers, and we are talking about taking mm -hmm. your jewelry and making it into something more meaningful, which I love, mm -hmm. and having your jewelry that you don't use mm -hmm. and making it shine. So Bill, the owner here, is going to be talking a little bit about how we can do that and how we can make our jewelry more purposeful. I love that. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you're saying, you're telling people to buy less jewelry. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> that makes no sense, it's, Bill. It's Explain. It's not a common uh, pitch for a jewelry store <laughs> no. or any <laughs> retailer, but we find ourselves often telling people, you, there was a day 15, 20 years ago where people wanted more and more and more, right. and they would buy uh, their 10th ring and their 10th Omega slide and all these numbers. Mm -hmm. People have their, their favorites, they have their go-to, they, they're creatures of habit, and they have the pieces they love. We've seen the trend, and our encouragement has been to have less numbers of pieces, but have the pieces you love be the best they can be. So fewer pieces of the best quality you can have. You know, I've heard the same thing about clothing. When you're thinking about whether to buy this new sweater, you think in advance, now, am I going to choose that one or am I going to go back to my favorite, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Right. And how, uh, what a great way to avoid yeah. the buildup of, of stuff. And I think right. it's nice, too, in the morning you have less to choose from. Because I'm someone that looks at so much and I'm like, I don't know what to wear, but if you have right. three things that you love, you've got three things to choose from for that day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Simplifies True. it. Even in clothing, I have a, a closet full of things that I haven't worn in over five years. I should probably donate them to Goodwill. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And you kind of touched on this too, but I think that's a little bit shocking, that statement, telling people right. to buy less, because what kind of business, retail store, <laughs> yeah. tells people to buy less from me? Yeah, it's true. So, but I think that's pretty cool. And we're I comfortable that with that apart. because we're going to make sure that those pieces are worn, mm -hmm. they're used, which is a reflection of us. Uh, mm -hmm. If you buy something and don't wear it, it's not helping me, it's not having people see their jewelry. Um, I want them to have what they wear be the yeah. greatest jewelry they can. And you guys are really about that long-term yeah. relationship, yeah. which I think is important. Okay, Bill, so what you're saying is <laughs> look through the drawers, pull out the pieces that you just don't ever really choose, bring them in, yeah. you'll evaluate them and turn them into what you buy them or do you re I don't melt them down what do sure. you do well, all of the above um, okay. we can use the that jewelry as credit for the new purchase we can use the pieces and parts to recast and remelt their metal and their stones and diamonds it can be all repurposed into the new piece wow. or kind of a combination uh, some people come in with enough jewelry to get their new dream piece made and actually walk away paying nothing if they have enough assets coming in and the jewelry pays for the labor, uh, it's kind of fun. What wow. an interesting idea for a wedding ring, especially if the guy and the girl had old pieces, not necessarily old rings, but right. old pieces to bring in and somehow combine that into their wedding pieces. Wouldn't yeah. that be neat? Yeah. It's beautiful. Very special. Yep. I love that. Um, and something else that you guys do is heirloom pieces which I'm interested in. I know I'm wearing a ring today that was my grandmother's. It's a big ruby. But I've thought about before about keeping this piece, but maybe in the future, maybe turning it into something that's a little bit more my style, a little more updated. Is sure. that something people can do? Yeah, even from a styling update or even manufacturing and yeah. the quality of the structure, some mm -hmm. of the pieces that have been around for 60, 70, 80 years are pretty worn out. And yeah. so the, the prongs are thin, the shank is thin, things are starting to fall apart a little. You could, we can recreate that exact piece the way it was, maybe oh, really? even better than it was wow. day one. Uh, and you have back that original piece that's recreated. That's so important too because I know personally I have quite a bit of my grandmother's jewelry. Yeah. I was wearing one of her earrings and it had pearls that were set in it and then one of them fell out. And I was just absolutely devastated because then I lost it and, yeah. you know, because I didn't have it looked at before I started wearing it. And I'm right. sure you hear people all the time with a similar story. Yeah, of course. And then right. you have to match and you just want to make sure that everything's in good wearable shape and people will buy something from an estate sale. Um, I caution that sometimes just because of the infrastructure, just know you might have to have some work done to make it lasting. Mm -hmm. But what would you say to someone that has like their grandmother's piece where mm -hmm. Ellen was saying, maybe it's not really her style. How do you address maybe feeling guilty? Like, well, this was her thing. It's not my style. And reconciling those differences. It's still uh, the same pieces, the same parts. We mm -hmm. can melt the same metal. We can use the same stones. Uh, old stones may need to be repolished and resurfaced. And you still are using the same products, uh, just reconfiguring. 
And I love how you work with people with it. Yeah. It's, it's a really personal touch. Very much. It is so personal, this you know, jewelry yeah. people have. They yeah. come with such, you know, heart memories with yeah. the process. Yeah. And there's definitely the point you made about better quality and better methods these yeah. days. Yeah. Totally. Having yeah. that piece be safer. Right. <laughs> and this right. is something I've heard of too. I've heard of a couple of people doing this like with their personal wedding rings, maybe for a wedding anniversary. Yeah. Like having their original maybe engagement ring changed right. and updated, but still using whether it's the same stones or the same st setting or changing it or adding on? Sure. Is that yeah. a growing trend? Yeah, the same theory with buying less jewelry. People yeah. come in for an anniversary ring. Well, they have a ring they love on their right hand. They have a ring here on their left for their wedding ring. Mm -hmm. I'll encourage them to maybe just put that value or that energy into the diamond ring and add something to it or mm -hmm. get that updated for themselves because then you really still have the pieces you love. I love that. Yeah. It's so perfect. It's and yeah. if somebody's interested, you're thinking, I have a jewelry box overflowing at home, <laughs> right. things I haven't worn in years. What's the best way to come in and see you or set up an appointment? Yeah, call and make an appointment. Set up a time for you to have the dedicated information session. Uh, bring in all your broken chains, single earrings, all the things you have. Bring your whole jewelry box in. Does People that do that. Does cost anything, Bill? No, there's no charge for valuation like that at all. Okay, oh, that's wow. amazing. Why not? Yeah, yeah. right. I'm going to be doing that. It's a yeah. free, <laughs> it's a free <laughs> service. And one of the cool things about William Thomas Custom Jewelry, I think, is that William Thomas is the person who's going to help you when you come in. Thank and you. so I think that's a really great service and not something you see all the time. So thank yeah. you so much for having us today. Yeah. We learned a lot. We, you're always teaching us new things. Thank you. Great we to be appreciate here. it. And thank you to all of our guests today. You can catch us next time on Girl Talk, only on Wisconsin's 57 Television. Beauty and styling for Girl Talk provided by the Ultimate Veritas Spa and Salon.